In mathematics, specifically linear algebra, a degenerate bilinear form f on a vector space v is a bilinear form such that the map from v to v given by v is not an isomorphism. An equivalent definition when v is finite dimensional is that it has a non-trivial kernel. There exists some non-zero x in v such that for all non-degenerate forms, a non-degenerate or non-singular form is one that is not degenerate, meaning that is an isomorphism, or equivalently in finite dimensions. If and only if for all implies that x equals zero, using the determinant. If v is finite dimensional then, relative to some basis for v, a bilinear form is degenerate if and only if the determinant of the associated matrix is zero, if and only if the matrix is singular, and accordingly degenerate forms are also called singular forms. Likewise, a non-degenerate form is one for which the associated matrix is non-singular, and accordingly non-degenerate forms are also referred to as non-singular forms. These statements are independent of the chosen basis. Related notions There is the closely related notion of a runner modular form and a perfect pairing. These agree over fields but not over general rings. Examples the most important examples of non-degenerate forms are inner products and symplectic forms. Symmetric non-degenerate forms are important generalizations of inner products, in that often all that is required is that the map be an isomorphism, not positivity. For example, a manifold with an inner product structure on its tangent spaces is a Riemannian manifold, while relaxing this to a symmetric non-degenerate form yields a pseudo-Riemannian manifold. Infinite dimensions Note that in an infinite dimensional space, we can have a bilinear form f for which is injective but not surjective. For example, on the space of continuous functions on a closed bounded interval, the form is not surjective. For instance, the Dirac delta functional is in the dual space but not of the required form. On the other hand, this bilinear form satisfies for all implies that terminology. If f vanishes identically on all vectors it is said to be totally degenerate. Given any bilinear form f on v the set of vectors forms a totally degenerate subspace v. The map f is non-degenerate if and only if this subspace is trivial. Sometimes the words anisotropic, isotropic and totally isotropic are used for non-degenerate, degenerate and totally degenerate respectively. Although definitions of these latter words can vary slightly between authors, beware that a vector such that is called isotropic for the quadratic form associated with the bilinear form and the existence of isotropic lines does not imply that the form is degenerate.